can i go to physics actually yes sir yeah 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 okay can you tell me what is how are electrical equipments classified actually um sir uh, so electrical equipment classified in three uh, three classes class one is uh, class one is where we need a earthing class two is uh, properly uh, class two doesn't need earthing sir class two is properly uh, uh, um, properly covered or uh, uh, properly insulated i guess and class three is battery operated sir what is macro shock the macro shock is the normal uh, when we touch some live wire or uh, uh, come in contact with some uh, electricity then then uh, macro shock when the current passes through our body it is called macro shock it is harmful in uh, uh, micro ampere ma micro ampere uh, milli ampere sorry sir milli ampere it is it is uh, uh, it is uh, uh, dangerous in milli ampere where there is uh, another thing is my, my micro shock which is directly Uh, applied to the, uh, I mean that can be directly applied to the heart because of some uh, biological instrument or something which is dangerous in mil uh, micro ampere, mu ampere. At what current level amplitude you feel pain? Uh, sir, pain is felt around uh, five micro ampere. Uh, five to ten microamperes. Mm hmm. Okay. What do the adverse effect of a current depend on? Uh, sir, adverse effects of current depend on the amount of uh, uh current through the body, which is this uh the ampere of the uh the electric shock, sir. Uh, I mean. uh the amount of current is passing through the body uh, which is uh, uh, classified in, in ampere sir any other thing uh sir when we uh, when we calculate it like uh, uh, if the resistance is high uh, um, uh, the 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 the, the uh, calculation is uh, the uh, Theory is sir v is equal to i into r. So v is equal to the potential difference is v and uh, uh, i is the uh, current and r is the resistance sir. So um, uh, if the r is too high sir the uh, and and it, the current basic becomes v by r. So the uh, v is equal to i into r. I can uh, uh, like if I show you sir. So uh, i is equal to v by r. So if the r is becomes very high. Mm -hmm. so if the r is becomes very high sir so then the uh, the resistance becomes very high so the uh, amount of current becomes less like uh, for for example if we uh, wear a, uh, a rubber sandal in the ot or some insulation between us the resistance becomes very high so the same amount of current if we go through if uh, if passes through our body then the amount of current becomes less uh, and then the uh, the damage becomes less oh. can you tell me just can you just draw a defibrillator circuit um, sir uh Yeah, can you see? Can you see it, sir? Little so bit. The, uh, there's a uh, parallel connection. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a parallel this. connection, sir. Uh, there is uh, there is a five thousand volt is uh, sir. Uh, that is the uh, uh, voltage difference what we have, and uh, there's a there's a parallel connection and there is a capacitor, and uh, uh, the patient heart, and uh, mm -hmm. there is a, a, a switch and a resistance is there, sir. Yeah, where are the switch and resistance? Sir, the, the, these three are parallel, and uh, uh, there is a switch in uh, the side, and the, there's a resistance, and this thing thing three things becomes parallel. Sir, the one is the voltage difference, one is the capacitor, and one is the uh, patient heart that the where we applying the uh, the current. Sir. Okay. 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 Okay.
where is the paddle switch i guess uh, sir it is somewhere in the uh, in this circuit sir near the near the heart sir okay right so what are the safety considerations when you are using a defibrillator uh sir uh, for use of defibrillator the uh, there may chance of damage so uh, to uh, reduce that we need to take some precautions from the patient aspect uh, in the environment and from the staff question are, is specific uh, what what are the specific uh, safety concern just tell the enumerate the safety concerns uh um, the uh, the patient should not be touching the metal uh, metal body of the uh, bed and uh, uh, nobody the, the staff should not be uh, uh, touching the patient or the patient bed and uh, um, what uh, happens uh, what happens okay sir so the uh, it can question cause... is what happens okay sir right sir uh, can sir, can we uh, stop here right sir right devashi how do you feel yourself sir answering is very difficult sir when we read answering it, is not really... difficult the thing is with your viva what we can see is me dr danish and dr amina who is a very senior uh, examiner here what we can judge is you know the answers but you need to organize them okay yes, sir the problem is you are you are excited to answer them i can yes, see sir. the excitement to answer them but you need to organize in such a way that you need to answer in a specific way what is you need to listen what is asked the number one question which i asked is what are the safety concerns you are going on to the uh, pre uh, the prevention aspects of those safety yes, concerns sir. so what are the safety concerns burns ignition Yes, inflammation uh, electric shock to the safe uh, to the patient uh, to the staff and all right so these are the, enumerate them the safety concerns yes. then tell the if the examiner ask give the examiner you know in idiac or i don't know about frc or fci yeah, but idiac is questions are masked that's what doctor when i was giving my exam dr danish told me one thing and i remember very nicely that number of questions is equal to number of marks the more questions they ask you is equal to and you let them ask is equal to number of marks okay yeah. uh i think even in fc frca final exams also uh, they have specific answers which they are looking for if you are not telling them and you beating around the bush then you will not get the mask marks even if you tell a 10 minutes answer for a single question okay so like the what i i ask you about the what are the You, you know how does a current affect what are the i mean the question was yeah what are the adverse effects of a current depends upon so you need to tell that it is the type of current magnitude of current current density and current duration rather than explaining what is resistance what happens if you apply resistance and all right thanks sir the listen to the question actually what is being asked all of us assimilate whether i need how much i need to tell the examiner actually okay. and how much i need to withhold the information okay. let the examiner ask you then you will get good marks okay, okay. otherwise um, a defibrillator circuit practice defibrillator circuit because you forget to Uh, mention the paddle switch you drew the but on the whole you did really well about that question because i i forget tend to forget the circuit how much in it how much time i try to revise the circuit i do forget so okay. just try to remember where things are where like yes, electric circuit for this then the next question was you were bang on on macro shock micro shock try to learn Uh, re uh, re uh remember at what my uh, electrical levels we get yes, what sir. like tingling pain yes, they will ask you to fibrillator at what uh, electrical yes, level sir. yeah and then they will ask you yeah 
question your pharma questions oh you were very nice about classification of isomers isomers dr pankaj hi i think dr pankaj needs to mute himself yeah right yeah dr pankaj can you yeah yeah. Perfect. So yeah. isomers were bang on. You really told, uh, elaborated on isomers really well. Uh, so let the examiners ask you different questions of isomerism. Um, I think you re really told uh, optical isomers, chain isomers, geometrical isomers, and explain the effects of the isomerism really well. Um, okay. The next question I wanted you to concentrate on and asked specifically was, and I gave you a clue, what are the different hypotheses regarding the uh, exertion of effect of uh, inhalation agents? You were talking, you're giving the answers in terms of factors influencing the uh, uh, mechanism of action of an inhalation agent. So like you were talking about the lipid solubility or all, but the hypothesis are mere overton hypothesis. Okay, uh, ion channel, inhibition and all okay so you just need to devise the topic really well on inhalation what are the hypotheses re regarding the uh, mechanism of action of uh, this thing inhalation agents okay may it uh, what an hypothesis membrane receptor hypothesis what is multi-site hypothesis okay and... So listen to the question, what is being asked specifically, okay? Uh, you are correct about at atracurium. So divide the question into uh, what, uh, when a specific drug is asked to you, you divide the answer into, you know, first how it is available, what preparation is it available? Is it available as an uh, injection or oral form, powder form? Uh, what is this chemical structure? You told benzoyl so quinoline uh, compound and uh, specific uh, action where it acts, what type of receptors it acts on. Um, then you come to pharmacokinetics like absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. You told really well about the laudonisin receptors and all. Okay. Uh, Right. Anything else? Uh, that's all. Sir, sorry, uh, what are the other hypotheses, sir, except this mayer overton sir? Actually, I... Um, uh, mayer overton hypothesis, hypothesis and, uh, you know, membrane pro uh, protein receptor hypothesis where binding sites for anesthetic agents on transmember, uh, okay, their specific my binding sites are their transmembrane proteins. Right, sir. Okay. Mostly these two, sir. Yeah, and then there is multi-site hypothesis. Multi-site. Like whether some some inhalation agents exert their effect by higher central agents. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Right, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Doctor Danish, can I? Yeah, Doctor Anwar, thank you so yeah, much. I'm also. Uh, Dr. Anwar. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I know you're, you're about to start your work as well, and. My, my work was, I need to go. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, thank, thank you so much. And uh, uh, you please carry on. And uh, Dr. Devashi, I think for a first fiver, I, I think 